Hello everybody and welcome back to our uh, bullet design SFML thing. And where we left off, we are just about to create our enemy class here. We got the basics set up, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. So for our enemy class, we are going to need a few things in our public area. The first one that we want to do is we want to say void set position SF vector to float new position and then we want to say enemy dot set position to new position just like that and then we want to have our collisions so this will be fun so we want to say void check collision and then we want to check a collision with a bullet so let's call it bullet so we want to check to see if and I should probably include bullets pound include bullet dot h so I want to check a collision with bullets just like this so how we do this is we're gonna say if uh, I want to put a space there so let's create our if statement so we want to say if the bullet dot get right because remember we created all these functions here in uh, our bullet I didn't create them for nothing so if the right is greater than enemy dot get position dot x so if it's um, if the bullets right location is greater than our x location that means that it's be that it's basically in on a some sort of collision with our boundaries. However, this isn't the full statement. You have to do for all sides, so we're going to be doing that. So then we want to say and, which is two ampersands. I don't know if I've gone over that before, but how you do and is the two ampersands. And the uh, bullets. Actually, let's put this on a new line. Bullet dot gets top. I keep doing that. Is less than our enemy dot get position dot y plus enemy dot get size dot y so what this thing is going to check is I don't know why that's no operand matches this thing that is weird oh, that's weird it must have just been a delayed error that's a weird thing that's happening with this new IDE, but anyways. So what this thing is saying is that if the top of the bullet is less than the position which is our bottom, the Y plus the enemy gets size Y, this will get the bottom of our player. So if its top goes past the bo our like bottom area and this and it's going past our left area then it knows that there's a collision but there's one more thing that I think there's one more thing that we have to add to this and the last one that we want to add is we want to say and bullets oh put this on there dot get bottom is greater than enemy dot get position dot y so this one will just make absolutely sure that whatever it is that we're doing oh whoops have to close that off too it's just going to make sure that it's colliding with us so once this is that we know this is happening and it is colliding with us so if this if all these statements are true which they will return true if this is the case then that means that the bullet is colliding with the enemy and in that case what we want to do we're going to say enemy dot set position let's just set sf vector to float and we'll just set random numbers this will put it off screen so we don't have to see it anymore so it'll give the illusion that it got destroyed when in reality it's just getting set to a new location because it's easier to do that than to actually destroy it and I didn't figure out a way to destroy it so that's why I'm doing that um, so yeah that's I think that's all we need then we can start building our main class so under our main class let's define objects here so we will create actually we also have to include everything so we want to include bullets include enemy and then we want to include player so then we'll say player 
player, and then we'll create SF vector to float. We'll make him how about 50 by 50, just like that. And then we will create a uh, an enemy called enemy, and this will be SF vector to float of also 50 by 50. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a standard vector. And actually, I have to pound include vector here. I'm going to create a vector of bullets called bullet vec. And this is basically going to hold all the bullets that we're firing. So let's just go down here. And actually, I didn't have window.clear here. And then let's do uh, player dot. Did I forget to do a draw thing? Hold on. Uh, player. Did I not do a? Oh, I didn't do a draw. We have to do a void draw sf render window ampersand window, and then just say window dot draw our player, just like that. And I'm pretty sure I remember adding one for the enemy. So I'll say player dot draw to the window. And we'll say enemy dot... Did I not add one with the enemy either? Huh. Man, I'm off my game today. Draw SF render window ampersand window window dot draw our enemy. Just like that. Dot draw enemy or window so this will put both our objects on the screen and also I just want to set the location for our enemy so that's not overlapping with the player that's why I had the set position and SF vector to float and then this one will just set it to how about 500 by 50 so then let's run our program to make sure that the objects appear and we got some build errors let's see what they are um, hold on a second I see my problem. In my collision event, I didn't add parentheses after I called these functions. So now this hopefully will work. And yeah, as you can see, we have our player on the screen as well as our enemy on the screen. And it looks like I'm running out of time, so I'll have to save the rest of how to just implement it for the next video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.